हेलो एवरीवन आई एम रोहिणु ठोमरे लेक्चरर कंप्यूटर टेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट के के वाक पॉलिटेक्निक नासिक इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन प्रैक्टिकल नंबर ट्वेल्व फ्रॉम कोर्स फंडामेंटल ऑफ आई सी टी द टाइटल ऑफ दिस प्रैक्टिकल इज चार्ट फॉर विजुअल प्रेजेंटेशन नाउ लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ द एक्सप्लेनेशन फर्स्ट वील गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्रैक्टिकल सिग्निफिकन्स इन स्प्रेड शीट्स charts are used to display series of numeric data in a graphical format to make it easier to understand large quantities of data and the relationship between different series of data this practical develops the ability to create different types of charts and apply various chart options to organize it in many ways the relevant course outcome is interpret data and represent it graphically using spreadsheet after learning this practical you will be able to create charts to apply various chart options you need some practical skills like to create charts for the workbook data and also edit charts and apply different chart options on charts some of the theory behind this practical is charts in spreadsheet provide an attractive visual representation of data stored in worksheets this is an easier way to understand and interpret the data as user can pick up the patterns almost all spreadsheet tools provide facility of charts like bar chart pie chart line chart etc to perform this practical you require some resources like computer system you can use any desktop or laptop with basic configuration also you require office software package you may go with open office star office libre office ms office or any other such software you have to follow the procedure to complete this practical there are different processes that you have to follow first create a chart then you can edit a chart and also you can move or resize a chart let us discuss the procedure one by one step wise to create a chart the steps are on a worksheet arrange the data that is to be plot in a chart select the cells that contains the data to be used for the chart on the relevant menu options click the chart type and then chart subtype by default the chart is placed on the worksheet as an embedded chart if user want to place the chart in a separate chart set one can change its location by doing the following like click anywhere in the embedded chart to activate it and then using the relevant option user can place the chart to new location that is on new sheet now let us discuss the steps to edit a chart first you can apply a predefined chart layout to do this click anywhere in the chart that user want to format by using a predefined chart layout this displays different chart tools choose relevant tool to activate the chart layout then click the chart layout that user want to use then you can apply a predefined chart style by clicking anywhere in the chart to format by using a predefined chart style you can also change the format of chart elements so for that click the chart element for which user want to change the layout click anywhere in the chart to display the chart tool then using a relevant tool click the chart element such as labels access or background then choose the layout option that user want to format the shape of selected chart elements such as shape fill shape outline or shape effects choose the formatting options next you can also add charts and axis titles and data labels so to add a chart title click anywhere in the chart to which user want to add a title then using relevant option change the chart title to format the text select it and then click the formatting options as per requirement 
To add the axis title, click anywhere in the chart. Choose the relevant options. Tools to change the axis title of primary horizontal axis or primary vertical axis title. You can also add data labels. So to add data labels to all data points of all data series, click the chart area. To add a data label to a single data points in a data series, click the data series that contains the data point that user want to label. And use relevant tools, choose data labels and then click the display option. You can also show or hide a legend. When one create a chart, the legend appears. But user can hide the legend or change its location after creating the chart. So to do this, follow the procedure like click the chart, then using relevant options, click legend. To hide the legend, click none or to display a legend, click the display option. You can also display or hide the chart axis or grid line. So to do this, click the chart where one need to display or hide the axis. To display an axis, click primary horizontal axis or primary vertical axis. To specify detailed axis display and scaling option, click the primary horizontal axis, primary vertical axis and choose relevant options from the available option. You can display or hide the grid lines also by clicking on grid line, primary horizontal grid line or secondary horizontal grid line. To quickly remove chart grid lines, select them and then press delete. To move or resize a chart, one can move a chart to any location on a worksheet or to a new or existing worksheet. Also change the size of chart for a better fit. To move a chart, drag it to a desired location. To resize a chart, click the chart and then drag the sizing handles to the desirable size. To perform this practical, we have to solve the exercise like prepare a dummy worksheet and draw a pie chart for it. And second, prepare a worksheet containing your marks in a class test and prepare a subject wise bar chart. These are some practical related questions. First, write procedure to convert existing Excel worksheet data and chart to an HTML document. The second question is write procedure to print only an embedded chart in a worksheet. And the third question is after a chart has been inserted and formatted, is it possible to change the data value on which the chart is prepared or to add new rows of data? These are the answers of practical related questions. The answer of first question is to convert existing Excel worksheet data and charge to an HTML document, go to save as dialog box, then provide the file name. For example, my web page. You can also provide any of file name, whatever that you want. And then provide the save as type as a web page. The second question is write procedure to print only an embedded chart in a worksheet. The procedure is as follow. Go to your worksheet which has the charts that you want to print. Then click on print button and select the radio button selected charts from a print what option. The third question is after a chart has been inserted and formatted. Is it possible to change the data value on which the chart is prepared or to add new rows of data? The answer of this question is yes, you can change the data value on which the chart is prepared or you can also add new rows of data. So this is all about practical number 12 from course fundamental of ICT. Thank you for watching.